Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland This is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Now This is going to be an exercise. Oh yeah. But. Yeah. An exercise. I don't know what the but was for. Basically. It's something you can do. On your own. But the way I'm going to present it. Is. is You know. It's kind of easier. To do it whilst listening to me during this recording but you know it can be adapted it's all about find it well for me it's all about finding what works for you and then using it which is why I well part of the reason I do so many different recordings is the hope that you you know you can search and you can find something that that helps I mean you know hopefully everything helps but there's going to be some things that really have a maybe more of an effect and what this I'll go through it with you before I actually do it and I guess it's part of a kind of a disruption process and yeah and I'm gonna be the one doing the disruption the or the disrupting rather so we're gonna focus on Something that you're anxious about, okay? And uh, if you listen to me before, you know that the feeling of anxiety won't be around for long. You know, it's it's not. We're not here to focus and to, you know, dwell on the feeling. It's about reducing changing or maybe even deleting eliminating that particular feeling so different things different effects will be different for different people i just really pleased that I managed to say the word different about a hundred times in one sentence yes now, I'd like you to think of something, and I suppose as we're testing this, as you're testing this with me, maybe you could test it on something that isn't, you know, extreme, if that makes sense. So... Let's say, for example, you've got a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst possible thing that you're maybe anxious about uh, when you think about it. Because, you know, we're not always thinking about stuff, are we? You're not always thinking about one particular thing. Um, Our minds are not that fixed. We've got very fluid minds. And... That's a good thing. And sometimes I think it can feel a little bit fixed, a little bit too focused on maybe one thing or a group of things, maybe negative things, when actually there is positivity there as well. There's there's always going to be positive. There's always going to be confidence, even when perhaps we're not focusing on it it's all there available for you 
to get in contact with. All feelings, all emotions are all available. Now, what I'd like you to do is to focus on a something maybe ranging maybe a three or a four on that scale of anxiety. And I'd like you to create a picture in your mind that represents that thing. That, whether it's a situation, whether it's a person, or maybe it's just a picture that represents the feeling. Because there's going to be a feeling. If there was no feeling, there there wouldn't be an issue, would there? Let's face it. So that feeling of anxiety is... It's kind of the main issue. Even though the situation that perhaps has caused it, maybe it's post-traumatic stress, so it's an event that's happened in the past, can't change the event, and, you know, there's this feeling connected. So I guess to say that the the event's not in not important is wrong to say that but the event is not what's causing you to have these feelings it's well it's the feelings basically the events happened and the anxiety is separate because people can, people can get anxious about all kinds of stuff. And I've known people to have a reaction to something that, and I'm not going to say what it is, but to something that for most people, if, if I told you, you would think it was the most trivial thing ever. But not to that person it wasn't. And their reaction was the equivalent to having been in a major disaster. Like almost like, you know, the worst possible scenario. And it affected them for years in a huge way. Uh, So I helped that person to get through that. This is a long time ago. So it's the feeling, ultimately, isn't it? You don't need me to tell you that. You know that. It's the feeling. If it wasn't for the the uncomfortable feeling of anxiety or stress or tension, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. If there was no feelings connected, then, you know, it wouldn't be an issue. But it's okay to have feelings connected to stuff. In fact, it's natural. It's natural to have feelings connected to good things that have happened and bad things that have happened in our lives. We have feelings and emotions because we're human. But anxiety goes on a it's a, although it is a feeling, it's an extreme, extreme feeling that doesn't often even make sense. It's almost like it takes a life, takes on a life of its own and seems to think that it's in control, that it's the boss of you and it's not the boss of you no feeling is in control of you you're the boss it's worth remembering that it's worth telling yourself that reminding yourself every day that you're in charge of how you feel 
doesn't mean ignoring the, the natural feelings that you have. But you can notice them and you can decide what you want to focus on. You choose what you focus on. It doesn't choose you. You choose what you focus on. That's the good, quite a good thing to remember. However, it doesn't feel like that sometimes, I know. So in those situations, as you move forward, as you start to notice more and more each day that actually you are the boss. Sometimes it can happen instantly. Like right now. And other times, yeah, it takes a while. But a way to think about anxiety, and I've mentioned this in a previous recording as well, is it's energy. It's energy. And if you think about it like trapped wind yeah it's trapped energy if you've ever had well if you've everybody's had trapped wind I mean we're born with the ability to have trapped wind babies get trapped wind the only thing is as you get older no one wants to burp you do they you know when you're 40 or 50 you can't say oh I've got trapped wind can you please just cuddle me and pat me on the back until I burp unfortunately that's, that service is not available Unless you're a baby. So. You've got this trapped energy. Which is actually. I mean trapped wind. It's the most simple thing. But wow is it uncomfortable. It's. It can be amongst the most uncomfortable. Physical sensations. That you can have. And all you need to do is burp or fart. And it's gone. But it can be incredibly uncomfortable or even really painful. So you've got, if you think about it, trapped energy. Which is the anxiety. It's trapped. It wants to be released. So you need some kind of anxiety burp or anxiety fart, which is a you might say, oh, we're using words like burp and fart in a serious thing. Well, think about it. If it's the equivalent to gas, it needs to be released. So there's lots of different ways that the anxiety can be released, and this is a way. And I like to present different ways of thinking about things. Because the more ways that you can observe those emotions, the more ways that you can focus and see almost through fresh eyes from a different perspective, from a different direction. Things look different. You could sit in front of me and you see me, how I look now. But if you was in a hot air balloon looking above me, you'd be able to see my bald patch on my head. But if you're sitting in front of me, you're probably thinking, blimey, he's got a big nose. Can't win really, can I? If you're going to think I've got a big nose or a big bald patch on my head. But that's not the point. I'm just saying you can see things differently. And you can notice different things about these feelings that we call anxiety and stress, tension. 
basically painful feelings. But they're trapped, which is why they're painful. Just like trapped wind. And we need to be burped. So, what we're going to do is, you can't pat yourself on the back to burp yourself. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to focus on that energy. Focus on that so for example if you've got an experience from the past that seems to create this tension or anxiety or maybe there's a person in your life or previously in the past whatever it is or maybe it's just some anxiety or tension that's there now I mean the problem is is when you listen to me the anxiety well basically you feel more relaxed it's kind of the the process and I've been doing this for a very very long time uh, doing relaxation sessions and partly it's got nothing to do with any type of skill on my part I'm just very boring I've got a very boring voice and it's if you think of Superman and uh, what's that stuff that Superman is allergic to? Chris, Chris, kryptonite. That's it. So I'm kind of like my voice is kryptonite to your anxiety. My voice is kryptonite to your stress. My voice is kryptonite to your tension. And my stomach is gurgling for some reason. That's nice. Lovely, lovely sound effects. So what I'd want you to do is focus, if you can, on something that gets the anxiety feeling. Okay? And, you know, you don't have to worry about... Because I know, you know... You're feeling more relaxed. You'll be listening to me. My voice with the kryptonite has kind of, you know, got rid of the anxiety and the stress. And you're feeling more relaxed and loose and calm and peaceful. Now, even by me asking you to do this and to get that feeling, you know it's not going to last for very long. Because when I start talking, it's probably going to go away anyway. But I'm going to try not to talk, okay? So that we can get rid of it a different way. Which means you can do it on your own. You don't need you don't need me to talk you through it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through what, I'm, what I want you to do. Can you hear my stomach? How weird. I think I should be asleep or something. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this. All I'm going to ask you to do is focus on the image that represents the feeling. Okay? So, when you have this image, normally you have the feeling, right? So, that's why you can test it. So, think of that thing. Notice what level you are of anxiety and so I'm going to ask you to think of something now and just notice what level 1 to 10 of anxiety you feel while you're thinking about it and then I want you to stop thinking about it okay so think about it now notice the feeling Notice how you feel, how high that level is of anxiety. Now let it go. And I'm going to talk you through what we're going to do. In a minute, or a couple of seconds actually, 
I'm going to ask you, instead of tapping, you can't tap on your own back unless you're an octopus. So uh, I want you to tap on your chest gently. Wow, my stomach's really going to town. Stop it. Stop. I put Andre, my little boy Andre the ferret, put him in the bedroom so as to not interrupt the recording. And my stomach's doing exactly what he would do. Except he doesn't do it from my stomach. Plus my stomach's not running around the floor. So it's a little bit different. Anyway. We're not going to tap ourselves on the back. We're going to tap ourselves on the chest. And... It kind of, I suppose... Wherever... I suppose like the chest bone. <laughs> and I just think I don't know if women have chest bones. But I've got a chest bone. So it's like in the middle of the chest. But just... It doesn't have to be your actual chest. It can be your... Um, is it a solar plexus or wherever, but around the chest area. And only do this if you haven't if you've got any kind of physical issues with your chest, then don't do your chest. Maybe do your stomach. Just tap it. And you're not gonna tap hard. It's just like that. Okay? The same as you would if you were tapping the back of a little baby burping a baby you're not like hammering on the back of you you know you just do it gently it's a gentle process and that's what we're going to do okay so I'm going to you know do it on the chest you could do the top of the chest so like the kind of the collarbone area but just in fact if you want to you can tap the full length of your body, like your your chest down to your belly button, and then maybe tap back up again if you want, because you get a pleasurable feeling when you do that, and it's not because it's your chest or your stomach necessarily, it's just because you're tapping and you weren't focusing on that part before. You haven't been tapping on it before. You know, maybe you were before tapping on it, but generally we don't tap on our chests or our stomachs. And the gentle stimulation of the skin feels pleasurable, providing that part of your body is okay. So... Obviously, you know, if you've got a broken collarbone or something, don't be tapping on it. Okay? So, that's all we're going to do. And I realise I could have probably talked this through in about three minutes if I'd done it that way. But there's always more to say. There's always more ideas to present and to maybe absorb along the way. Now... I'm going to tap, but I'm not going to talk while we do this. That way, the kryptonite of my voice just, you know, destroying the anxiety with my voice and the boringness of my voice. That's not going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tap on my chest and I'm going to think of something as well. Okay. So I'm going to go quiet. I'm going to stop talking for a Maybe a minute or so, if I can. No, that's it. I've got to keep talking. Now, I'm going to stop for about a minute. Think of that thing. Think of a thing that you generally, um, I say generally, that you've had problems in the past or something that's a recurring or has had been recurring before you listen to this. Uh in an anxiety way think of that thing maybe make an image in your mind maybe you don't need to notice the level and then just tap okay on your chest 
and maybe move your hand and tap on your on your belly and just moving it around a bit and doing that for maybe a few seconds I'll see how, how long I feel like doing it and then I'll start talking again so on a countdown from three down to one and then you do it your side and I'll do it my side and we'll meet up at the end okay three think of something two one Okay, I could I could do that all night. I think it's quite nice. Um, I feel a buzzing energy in my hand. The hand I was doing the tapping. It's almost like my hand is drawn that feeling out of my body. So I'm just gonna wring my hand. Almost, I'm going to push my hands together, just sort of clean them with the air, you know, that doesn't make sense, but you know, I'm just push my hands together and just letting them wobble a bit. So how is that for you? You know, I started laughing a little bit while I was doing it. It wasn't just because my stomach was gurgling. But I was focusing on a a, a difficult person that I really... uh, Yeah, had... Well, for a long time had problems seeing... But unfortunately, I kind of it's hard to avoid this person, and I started to laugh like a little bit inside. It felt almost well, the feeling changed because I actually got into the feeling for for a little while there, and it changed. Yeah. That's nice. Well, as I said, this is something that you can test. I mean, we we could do lots and lots of more different ones, but you can do that on your own, or you can re-listen to this and do a different. Think of a different thing. And before we go, just think back up to that thing and notice what level you are on that scale of 1 to 10 compared to see how it's changed and gone down from how it was before. And of course, if it hasn't gone down to the level you want it to, you can just go back and do it again. And each time you do it, goes down lower you feel better you feel more relaxed 
feel calmer. And that energy that was trapped, like a trapped wind, is released like a little baby burping. It's released. And once the air's gone, once the air that was trapped is released, you feel you feel fine. Once that energy, that negative energy is released, how do you feel? Now, that is the end of this recording. So thank you for listening. Remember, remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.